This video is based on an article published by the China Academy, your one-stop shop for content on China. You can click on the link to access the article. On April 26th, in China's central city, Wuhan, 10 scientists from six countries presented their final research proposal for lunar samples retrieved by the Chang'e 5 mission. As the lucky few who had made it to the final application round to access those moon rocks, these scientists had drawn attention, not for their research, but for their nationalities. At a time when the US law prohibits NASA's cooperation with China, half of the applicants for China's moon samples were surprisingly found to be from the US. Exempted from the US ban by a NASA email urging researchers to apply for Chinese lunar samples, the five US scientists who benefited from the NASA funding followed this suggestion. Assuming they were granted access, what would they use the rocks for? Doesn't the US possess a whopping 382 kilograms of lunar soil brought back from the Apollo missions 50 years ago? According to the NASA email, China's rocks were collected from a lunar region not yet sampled by NASA, potentially providing key insights into the geological history of the Moon and the Earth-Moon system, which will guide NASA's future explorations. The recent postponement of the US's Artemis Moon program to 2026 echoes this urgency. Applying for samples will ensure that United States researchers have the same research opportunities as scientists around the world, NASA said. This brings us to the pivotal question. Amidst an escalating Sino-US technological war, with the US fully engaged in containing China's technological development, would China grant such access? By the way, this video is just a glimpse. For the full story and deeper insights, click here and visit our website. Some argue that China should grant the US such access out of reciprocity, considering that the US once gifted one gram of Apollo moon sample to China in 1978, when the two countries planned to normalize their relations. Is this a legit argument, though? The US lunar rock, intended as a political olive branch, came with a hefty price tag. At the end of the 70s, under immense pressure from the Soviet Union, the US identified China as a potential ally, despite ideological disparities. The US even sold weapons to China in the hopes of bringing China into its orbit. It's safe to say that the US has long been rewarded for this one gram sample of moon soil when the Soviet Union announced its dissolution in 1991, not to mention what China then gifted the US in return as a courtesy. Some argued that China is obligated to share lunar samples, citing space exploration as a cause for all mankind, as science knows no borders. Let's dismount from our high horses. Even before the introduction of the Wolf Amendment in 2011, Chinese scientists were never considered eligible to apply for NASA's lunar samples. Evidently, the US would be the first to disagree with such an argument. For up-to-date analysis and underground sentiments from China, click here to visit our website, thechinaacademy.org, and join our audience community of over 150 million followers.